Hi guys, on this week's Short and Sweet, we're gonna talk about rhetoric, so stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome to Short and Sweet, where once a week I answer a writing or literary question in the shortest and simplest terms possible. My name is L.R. Rutherford, I'm an independent romance writer and a English teacher. Today we're going to be talking about rhetoric. Rhetoric is one of those words that you hear all the time, but you don't necessarily know what it means. There's many definitions and a lot of them seem very intelligent and vague, but it's one of those things that you step away from it and you can't really define it. So I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that when I was in college, it was a word that I danced around. I wasn't really sure of what it was. I thought I knew, but I was too ashamed to at, raise my hand and ask anyone. It wasn't until I was in a senior English class that they discussed it and went over it. And so now I think I have a better grasp on it and I want to give you help that I didn't have. So let's define rhetoric. Rhetoric is how the author shapes their message for the intended audience. Breaking it down, it's what you're saying, how you're saying it, and who you're saying it to. Rhetoric is involved in both speeches, in writing, and a lot of forms of life. And traditionally, rhetoric has been used in persuasive writing, or it is assimilated with persuasive writing. But I would like to argue personally that it can be done in any of the writing genres because you have to know what you're saying, how you're going to say it, and who your message is to based on writing style, intended message, and audience. So. Um, that being said, how I like to think about rhetoric and how I like to break it down for my students is think about when you were a child, when you were younger. I'm going to think for my example about when I wanted a toy from the store. I would ask my mom differently from the way I would ask my dad. With my mom, I would come to her. I would be very confident. I would say, what the toy was I wanted, why I deserved it. I would give her a reason of how good that I have been and I would promise to do something in the future per the transaction of the toy being given to me. It was all very straightforward, kind of business-like, and it was not whiny. With my dad, on the other hand, my voice would drop. I would make it seem like it would be the end of my happiness, the end of the world if I didn't get that toy, and I would love on him and hug him so much if he even considered getting the toy for me. So I was giving him that sort of like praise and affection. I used rhetoric there without consciously knowing because I had to pander to my audience. For my mom, I knew that being whiny or being um, childish to her was not going to get me anywhere with the toy and I needed to prove to her reasons why I deserved that particular toy at that time. With my dad, I knew that with him, I was more of his little princess or little girl. So I softened my voice. I made it seem like my happiness was dependent upon that toy. And then I gave him tons of praise and recognition if he even went towards that toy. So I was using rhetoric at that point in time without even knowing it. We use rhetoric every day, even without thinking about it. You're not going to say something to your mom that you might say to your best friend. You're not going to say something the same way to your girlfriend or boyfriend than you would to um, a stranger on the street. There are lots of different things that rhetoric can and hold, but rhetoric is mainly about writing and the way words are written. So think about your audience, think about your message, and remember these simple things about rhetoric. Rhetoric is what your message is, how you deliver your message, and who your message is intended to. Then traditionally, rhetoric is used in persuasive writing. I hope that this helps. I hope this gives you a little bit of a better understanding on rhetoric. And please leave comments, love, messages down below if you have something I want to cover, if you have something you want me to cover. Um, leave it down below. I would love to hear everything. So be good, 
be safe, stay home, and I will see you next week. Bye.